Times Square in New York, and uh, this is a really nice city. Hey, hey Arne, hey, what's up? Hi Niklas, N nice meeting you, what are you doing here? I'm uh, just looking around, uh, what are you doing? We, I'm, I'm uh, visiting my, my New York partners, and you, you have time making a video about us? Oh yeah, that would be awesome. I actually, I don't know what to do. So let's let's go make some videos. We have really some awesome places. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Cool. Hi, we are now at one of the top surgery specialists in New York. Really excited that he took his time um, to present um, our technology, how we use it. It's one in his surgery centers. Yeah. yeah here Hello. We go. Hi. Hi. So, uh, what do you do with this? I'm Dr. Sorry. Brian Jacob, and what we do with this technology is help our patients better uh, visualize uh, two things. One is their disease process and the anatomy, and the second is the actual surgical procedure that we're going to be doing. Uh, so instead of just working on a small computer screen, when we have a large screen like this, uh, we can actually sit and demonstrate, show them different parts of the video so they can understand exactly what's going to happen. That helps us explain recovery better and eventually gives the patient more comfort with exactly what it is they're agreeing to do. So, so you have it uh, as, a, as a touch and then you, the, don't they get bad feeling when they see something like this? So <laughs> at least I feel like I should have not eaten. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, to be honest with you, sometimes we'll use it for surgical education videos, but there are a lot of other videos that we can show yeah. uh, that we can store on a computer that are more uh, patient friendly. Okay. So more, more caricatures or digital reconstructions of procedures yeah. that don't make you feel queasy when you see them. Okay. Another highlight on our New York day is the um, spa we go now. Christy, she is one of the top 20 saloons and spas in the whole country, North America. And yeah, let's see what she's saying about our product. Okay, yeah. Hi Christy, I'm really excited to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Anna from Fatek. Probably you tell us a little bit about your location here. Do you like it? Well, welcome. Awesome. I'm Lois Christie. I'm the president of Christie Company Salon and Spa. We're here in Bayside, New York, and we've been in business for over 40 years, so we're quite established. And we like to keep up on the latest technology and what's new. And of course, we all know social media today is what's driving every business. So in our new retail store, yeah. which we're one of the first salons in the country to build a retail store, we carry every brand, all the major brands, and we've integrated now what is our social media to help our client base and to increase the business and the traffic flow so that the clients appreciate um, what we're doing here. So. I, I see uh, this is one of our first kiosks we installed. It's so this really is, we were the first salon in the country to have this kiosk and at the time in fact they weren't sure how it would be done and I said well let's put it in the salon and then see how this could you know, help drive our business. So the clients are really excited about it because when the hairdresser finishes their hair they take them to the kiosk, they take their photo and it instantly posts on our Facebook. So the clients get a $20 discount. What we've done is we've sends it to their phone. They get a $20 discount. And any of their friends that come in are already posted. They have a number, and then they get a $20 discount. So you're not only doing the client that's in the salon, just like the rest of the retail world, we're now getting out to their inner circle of friends. And our hairdressers love it because it helps their, um, you know, it helps build their following and their inner circle. So they're going to show you because they just finished this client's hair. So maybe they can show you how it works. How many how many people use it um, per, per week? Let's say uh, how well, many pictures do you do? in this salon we do almost 2,000 clients a week, and we post around 800. Wow. Well, so yeah, so that means a large share of your customers use it after to get discount next yeah, time they come. Especially new clients, um, bridal parties, the prom girls, you know, special yeah. events. Um, when we do makeovers or special events. And it's special to, it's, I mean, it's a great way to show the new haircut that you get, right? Yeah, and it's instant. I mean, it's better than an ad in a newspaper or, you know, anything mm. else we've ever done. So we're, we're working on it and we're growing it. But, um, so it's, it's really a great way to use the social media through a display right here. It's, and you could also track and um, keep the database. Mm. So even if, you know, a client... Yeah. You know, gives us their database and their friends, and we can get all our promotions out. So let's try to take a picture and see what happens after. Yeah. So we do one together? So, Jen, you see the client. 
<laughs> All right. Perfect. And then uh, this can be uh, sent to mobile. Yeah. You want to yeah. And then you okay. press the first name. Yeah. Type all this. Jessica. And uh, that gives you and any friend you refer a discount on your next yep. visit. That's really smart. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay. So Good thanks a lot you for showing okay, so us. Thanks for visiting our salon. Thank you. And we hope to grow this. I, there's new technology, which I think they're working on as well, which is um, okay. can go right in the front window that, you know, we will come next time. Nice. Yeah. If you tick the little button here, it says, I agree to share my photo right. yes. on your yes. Facebook. Yes. Maybe you can have another one. I agree to be in the front window. <laughs> yeah. Right? But this way they see right away who's the stylist. It goes right to their phone. Um, it's really quite a tool. You know, it's quite a fun tool for everybody. <laughs> nice. And, um, and they, they love it. You know. I want it. Okay. And the manufacturers yeah. like it as well. Yeah. So while we're growing our gallery, like we could put all our specials up, what's happening today, if the manufacturers, you know, want to share any of Because I nice. think it's a real, um, it has a real value um, to be an advertising tool for the major manufacturers in salons that have all these women sitting here. So, you know, I could see uh, Volkswagen or BMW or Vodka, you know, selling the space. So, oh. you know, it has... Or oh, you could say, don't forget to buy the shampoo. Yeah, or... yeah. Well, we have, like, we can go to our collections. Um, yeah. Our oh, specials. Okay. Yeah. Our collections. So, you know, whatever you choose to put on it, it has a lot of, um, you know, a lot of variables. Yeah. Great. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Niklas. Let's meet our service partner in New York. Very nice... Um, yeah, location directly in, in uh, Manhattan. Boris will give you some feedback why he's here. Let's let's go to them. Hey, Boris, Robert. Hi, nice how, are you? how are you? Fine. Nice you. I brought Hello. Niklas with me. So hi. 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 How you doing? So what? Uh, are you, who are you? I'm. Uh, my name is Boris. Boris Kleiman. I own uh, Infotech Solutions. We have been in business for the last 15 years. Since uh, 2012, we've been close, uh, working very closely with Arna and Fatec. Uh, very successful and happy relationship, I may say. Uh, Arna produces. Don't exaggerate too much. Right, right, you can, right, you right, can right. say it. Right. Uh, Arna no, produces really state of the art technology, which uh, we all love and uh, uh, which we love and uh, happy to repair whenever issues come up. Our technical staff is incredible, exceptionally versatile, and uh, highly qualified to do any kind of technical work. Cool. And uh, who are you? Hey, my name is Rob. I work for Boris as a, a project manager. So we help out with uh, Fatech and MetroClick uh, with the design installations and implementations of the hardware, uh, along with other stuff. Um, we also have like uh, about 30 minute uh, repair window. So that's why we're always on staff, uh, located here in Manhattan. Twenty-four seven. Twenty-four seven. Really? Twenty-four seven. Twenty-four seven. We work twenty-four seven. That's really oh serious. Oh my yeah. god! In New York, what is that stuff you have here? Uh, these are some server implementation that we're having. A couple of migrations. Um, this is a new server. Uh, what is that? Power Edge. This is a RAID tower that we have uh, hooked up for uh, data recovery right now. So uh, all kinds of IT issues or yes, or, we or have, projects. We have uh, over a hundred clients uh, in Manhattan that we uh, service daily. Okay, okay. Uh, the, you have an, another guy working over there? Oh yeah, definitely. I need it again. Hey, hello. Hi, how are you? Oh. Hey. Hey again. <laughs> so who are you? I am technician here. So I am. And I fixed this unit. It has power circuit issue. And unit. This is a Fatec. Uh, what is this? Right. This is butterfly unit. Can you see the? Uh, you can see it. This is unit five degree screen. This you showed we, at we the CES. We had it on the fair right on the CES. Right. You will see it later also as yeah. installed in really nice uh, place directly next to an Apple store. We will meet also the, the guy who invented it. And so you have business. hundreds of these in New York, right? Right, just in New York there are already several hundred installations and for sure um, there are also the one or the other which has problems. This had a um, power surge and Evgeny is now checking um, which, um, which parts um, What's are in here? Damaged. You can see here motherboard. This is 
backlight board. Here you can see relay which can open doors and other some cool. parts. This is a crazy for... project, right? It's really you have crazy. a bunch of crazy projects happening. <laughs> yeah. you, will, you will see more. This I, I want to say this is one of the first units when you open now a, a new unit. Um, um, we we are now in mass production with that one. It's it's looking more clear, but but even the the first units they are all every sample which we will produce is now installed in one of the buildings here here in New York. Cool. So. Always busy? You always busy? We're yeah. seeing fewer and fewer of these units. We're seeing fewer and fewer of these units being repaired. They're, and the quality has definitely improved from the first year significantly. Cool. Uh, that's, that's really important. We, we try to have a direct relationship with our customers, with, with service partners, and we really check on a regular basis. Okay, what did we produce? Where were the problems? What shit did we do? <laughs> and then we see to, to, to fix it up and get it running steady. That's right. and yeah, thanks for, for saying this. I think also we are in a good way. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, this particular unit, actually, exceptional unit, because it was installed in one of the buildings where we had a weather storm and experienced a short. So, Evgeny, I'm sure, will be able to fix it in no time, just All like right. every other unit. You have half an hour, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hi Nicholas, now we are, let's say, in one probably of the last real industrial factories in, in New York. We are at a printing factory and let's check for, for ads to have some more information. Ed? Hi. Hello. Hello. Nice meeting you. Same. This is Nicholas. Nice to meet you. So what do you do? What do I do? Uh, I've been a printer in New York City for 30 years. We are the one of two last print shops in New York City. New York City, the second largest industry, was printing up to about five years ago. Now there's two of us left. There must have been about 350 printers right on this block, not so long ago. But we were lucky because we had the, uh, the power to buy the building, so we're still here. And uh, as you can see, we still have some of the finest equipment around. We all have German products. I'm sure you've heard of Heidelberg. This is a five-color, 40-inch Speedmaster. Uh, goes 18,000 sheets an hour, and it really is state-of-the-art. Still one of the finest pieces of equipment. So, how much can you print during here? We could print 18,000 sheets an hour. So we do uh, all of Broadway, all kinds of commercial printing, real estate. Here's whatever. some examples of what you yeah, print. So. so this is uh, this is for the New York City Marathon. New York City Marathon and uh, Broadway shows. Yeah, I mean it's just commercial printing, but these are some of our major clients. And, and uh, yeah, again, good fortune to be able to be in New York City. About five years ago, we were lucky enough to integrate all our, from accounting right down to running the presses. Uh, I met Honor. We went out to China to Shenzhen. And we integrated all our equipment with Baytech Interactive Touchscreen. So again, the entire company is run on this hardware. Let's check it out. Yeah, well, this, yeah. Is, well, this is Jimmy, our main yeah. president. This is a KVA 8 color. And run some, run some sheet. Hey. So you're switching it on here? Starts it up. Get it idling. What's going to happen now? This starts up the whole procedure. Air, paper, rotation, ink, rollers. This is an eight color press. You can eight, eight, run eight colors at one time. Not a very press. What goes on with all these machines over here? Sorry? What goes on with all these machines over here? Years old, um, every machine is a different, every cylinder is a different color. So the, the, the paper passes through each cylinder and it puts another color down. So you can go to eight colors, one cylinder after another. And then also it puts on a varnish. Once you step there, yeah. So let's check out the... Now as you can see, 
our entire inventory system from paper to job schedule are all integrated on the Faytech screen. All right. So we have a total inventory system, uh, very quick, very efficient, uh, have had really no breakdowns. So from my good fortune, I don't know, I don't know about anything else, but the my good fortune, the screen has lasted now for five years. So, oh, I'm sorry. so you have many uh, uh, happy customers because you are flexible. I you wouldn't, I wouldn't be in business if I didn't have happy customers. Yeah. So, what we did was we modified. Some of the equipment with Baytech screen products, touch screen products. But again, uh, my key thing is I don't have any time to anything to break down, whether it be printing equipment, uh, integrating screens, getting paper lost or not coming on time. Uh, I need, I need, and that's what we have with Baytech products. I'm sorry. And that's how it runs, like what you said, the Baytech products. Yeah, I mean, it, the whole company is integrated with Vatex Green. Again, even in my accounting department, we have that. Uh, so I'm very happy. Uh, you know, uh, you got to come to the right vendor to make sure your company's running properly. From the printing press right down to the, my uh, computer. Hey, Nicholas. We are now at the 121 Warwick Street, our Vatex US office. I have to say, I'm a little bit shocked. Probably like you, they are totally in renovation. We will see the third floor unrenovated and the fourth floor where the renovation ended. And here, here it started 2012. Hey, Nicholas. It's hey. Jesse. So this is my partners. Uh, Fate Tech North America. Uh, this is where it all started about four years ago. We are now happily expanding. So I'll give you a little tour around. All right. Hey. Hey, Nicholas. Who are you? I'm Taylor. I'm a partner with Jesse and Arna as well. Cool. So right. I think uh, Jesse's going to give you. Quick tour of the office. All right. So again, a little under construction, so we're building this out. This is uh, Jeffrey and Pat. Hey. Hey, guys. How's it going, guys? Hey. How's it going? What do you do? I'm here at Faytech. This is my first year at Faytech. I'm here to help with the logistical work and manage accounts, all these new accounts that we get. I'm here. I'm the first one to manage them, and I'm the first one to grow up. Cool. And I'm Jeff. I'm a little bit of everything. Um, I'll show you our new 32-inch capacitive touch PC, just displaying one of our Metro Click apps for the Dream Hotel. All right. Yeah, it's pretty sleek. Cool. So what is Metro Click? So Metro Click uh, is a company we all started about three years ago that is an interactive software development company that we built around Faytech being our hardware partner. So we build all kinds of touchscreen applications um, for all different size hardware products. So as we walk through, you'll see as MetroClick is emerging as well, some of the new officers. <laughs> yeah. That's, a good That's okay. <laughs> Let's try to get through here. Okay, these. Okay. okay, let's get in there. So, all right, how about these guys? Sure. <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be our new beautiful showroom showing the full Baytech line. Hello. This is uh, Frida. Hi. Hi. Hey. How are you? What do you do? Good. I am part of the accounting here. All right. And Pearl does everything. And I assist. Major. Assist. I assist Frida. You do everything, I he do says. I do everything Frida asks me to do. All right. Cool. And in here are some of our designers and developers. So if you come. Uh, you can see some of the work they're working on right now. Hey, hello. Hello. Hey, what do you do? I do graphic design for uh... So this is, this could go on uh, touch screens and yes, it could be all kinds of... Yes, be uh, on touch screens for stadiums for uh, Lexus content. Great. Cool. So. There's a lot of stuff happening in New York, right? With yes. Tech. Um, as it's growing, um, we're trying to go to different industries in the New York market. Hey, hello. Hey, all right. Uh, can you give a little bio? Hey, hey, hey. What What's do you do? On? What's you know, going on here? Like this. this is a UI for uh, for touchscreen. Yep. So this is showing a retail application that we're building for museums um, for touchscreen kiosks. Right. And then if you want to come up to four, I'll show you what this place will look yeah. like uh, after the renovation. Can we check over there? Sure. Hey. 
Hey, what's up? Hi. Hey. What do you do? Um, I basically program. Is this a, what kind of programming going on here? Um, is JavaScript. JavaScript for smooth UI kind of interactions and stuff? Yes. All right, cool. Okay, so can we go on the fourth floor? Sure. It's like jumping in another world, huh, Jesse? <laughs> So what's going on in the fourth floor? On the fourth floor is the other partner of our company. Um, and this is what our office is going to look like. So soon it'll, it'll be as beautiful as this. So here you have a demonstration of. Uh... So this is showing some of MetroClick's different projects that we've worked on on the FadeTech hardware. Um, you can see this just came back from a Tidal event. Tidal is the high quality music streaming service. So we do a lot of events for interactive photo booths with them. Uh, this is one of the applications we've done with them. So you can see you can take a picture. The picture one is very popular now. Yeah and then being able to share it on Facebook and Twitter and sending it to your email. Uh, another interesting application we've built is a retail application for museums to be able to buy art. So now you can walk into a museum and they have a content management system which controls all of their content for any exhibit and from the spot you're able to purchase any artwork you'd like to see. So this has credit card and RFID embedded for a mobile payment, credit card payment, um, so really next level shopping. So it looks really smooth and there's a lot of opportunity to do uh, interesting stuff with the uh, Fatech products, right? There's so much opportunity to do uh, new and innovative things with the Fatech line. So you're going to get busy in this year, 2016? Should be a busy 2016. Looking forward to it. Hi. Niklas, several hundred laundry studios, or I don't know how to say it, in, in New York are running on our system. So you have here some really professional laundry machines and then um, they have connected our service and um, yeah, when you have an issue, you put in the machine, I don't want to do, I don't want to make yeah. you know, extra work, I don't know, you can request a fan, have FAQs, so that's also a nice application on the point of sale or on the point of action where, where systems from Paytech are used for that, over several hundred, I think it's already 400 installed just in New York, um, running with circular machines. Nice, because once in a while in the laundry areas, the machine might start working. And so you just type in uh, report an issue, you put the machine number, and then uh, yeah. they fix it. Right. That's great. Hi, Niklas. Um, this is really one of the most special um, products we, we have. Really proud that you meet the guy who I, I would say invented a product you saw on the Hong Kong trade show now on the CES. It's, I think, our most sophisticated product. Yeah, Cyrus, probably you say more. Thank you, Arna. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Cyrus Claffey. I'm with Butterfly MX, um, another customer of Fatech. Uh, we are the first smartphone based video intercom system for the real estate industry. And uh, we are changing really the way people use and think of intercoms. Because basically, with one of our touchscreens, which is manufactured by Fatec, and by downloading our mobile app onto your smartphone, you're able to now get a video call from a visitor from the front of your building anywhere in the world. Um, and it's really been kind of a great discovery process. We started about four and a half years ago when uh, I was sitting on my couch. I said, hey, you know, we live in the day of the uh, iPhone and Wi-Fi and all these things, and you can watch YouTube, you can stream Netflix. Why can't you uh, get a video call from your front door on your phone? And of course, you wouldn't just want to have the video uh, call on your mobile app. 
you really want to have something cool at the front entrance, which is where the touchscreen came in. So can you explain this hardware? What's going on here? What yeah, do we have? Yeah, absolutely. So this is actually a very, very sophisticated piece of hardware. And, and I have to say, we've really enjoyed working with uh, Faytech and Arna, of course, in particular. Thank you, thank you. How do you get this done? So, well, it's been kind of a back and forth. We had a basic set of requirements, and every time I asked Arna, so can we do this? He said, yes. Can yeah. we do that? Did you say oh. yes every time? <laughs> yeah, he did, actually. Yeah. That's part of the reason it's taken 12 months or 14 months to get where we're at, but I think the product is really an excellent product. And how many um, do you have installed so far? So we have so far uh, 100 buildings from Seattle to Miami and from Boston to San Diego and all points in between, Nashville, Fargo, etc. And it's getting and to all outdoor. For all outdoor. outdoor. Some really standing in the rain. Yeah, in the rain. It's rainproof. Yeah, of everything. Course. Yeah. Of course. As you as you may or may not know, in the U.S., uh, kind of post financial crisis, there is a tremendous uh, building boom going on now. Um, and so it's a great opportunity for us to really introduce Butterfly MX. And really, our focus is working on kind of large national landlords who appreciate the technology and it's also used really to manage buildings to document everybody who comes into the property um, we, in addition to the convenience can factors. we do a test on the yeah so how would absolutely. it work absolutely so the way it works is yeah yeah so the first thing is is that um you know we have different naming oops we have different naming strategies for the resident directory what you're seeing here is what we call the anonymous naming strategy we can do other types of naming strategy, including custom names. So if you're, let's say you're a celebrity and you live in a building, you can have a fake name, or as I always like to do to demonstrate how well our product works, if I'm a regular person, I can give myself a celebrity name. Brad Pitt is one of my favorite ones. Whoops, gotta spell his name, there he is. That's actually my fake name. So I tap on that, right? That's what we call our directory listing. I can announce myself as a regular visitor or as a delivery person. Right. Oh, yeah. And then, call right. Now, You're already? Uh, well, we're going to yeah. call you in a moment. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so, let me. Oh, sorry. So then oh, we call the phone. Calling. So now we'll pretend that we're a delivery guy. We hit delivery. You get a push notification on the phone. Yeah, so you can have fake names for people. So, for example, I always use Brad Pitt as my fake name. It always gets a good laugh. I, I hope I'm Brad Pitt. Yeah, oh, sorry, Arne, you're Brad Pitt today. Uh, basically, you can announce yourself as a delivery guy or a regular yeah. visitor. He has to press call, right? Okay, yeah. so now I'm going to hit delivery. It sends now a push notification. Yeah, the delivery. Sends a push notification to the phone. Down from the top. So That's our delivery. push notification, right? Okay. Oh. And there you see, so you Hello? accept the call. Brad Pitt. Okay. So accept the call. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Now you can do two way video, right? Nice. On the call. Brad and then Pitt. swipe to open. You can swipe, swipe to, open. to open the door. Yeah. Swipe. Wow. And there, and the door is open. And go in. That's awesome. That's really cool. It's here. Seriously. Product uh, we, are, we are really proud on. And it, it makes a lot of fun working with, with Cyrus. That's also for us a big opportunity to learn, you know. It's, we are at the forefront of new technology happening. And um, I have to say for myself, it's a product I, I enjoy really much. So if you are super stable with this hardware and this solution, this could really take off like crazy, right? Well, it is, is taking off step? like crazy. And that's the idea is that working with Arna, we've actually future-proofed this because we have a lot of technology which we're not using today. Is that NFC? NFC, low power Bluetooth, other special things. Wow. Right? Which as we develop the platform, right, we will now incorporate this technology. So low power Bluetooth, you come close, you don't even need to do anything, it just opens the door. Exactly. Or GPS ring fencing. There's a lot of interesting things about how you can make this more convenient for people, how you can also make it more secure by pre authorizing people. For example, the virtual key. Arne, uh, do you have the mobile app? Yeah. So, yeah. we just sent you a virtual key on your phone. Uh, that's, this is the login. Every time you get a visitor, you actually get a picture of your visitor, right? Oh. So as a resident, right, you're always aware. 
of that. Uh, you go back down there. Oh, that's how you go yeah. back. And then how do we get to the home screen so we can show you the virtual key yeah. uh, that we sent you? All right. The, the SMS that I sent you? The SMS right here. Was, okay. Oops, yeah. So that's the virtual key. So this is another unique feature of our system. So basically it's a QR code that has a limited time span and will get you into the building when you present it to our system. But just, just to the camera. specified time, right? Just for a specified limited period of time. That's what makes it secure. It automatically expires. That's right? perfect for Airbnb, for cleaners. Airbnb, for... dog walker, cleaners, midnight emergency when you need to get some staff into the building, right? Uh -oh. And then nurses. Yeah. Nurses, and whatever the case yeah. may be. And then we're incorporating it again, now wireless technologies into the panel, which allow, right? Again, as you said, yeah. low power Bluetooth, GPS ring fencing, all these things, we're very excited. Now, the next step with Fantech is we're developing different form factors with the same functionality for other parts of the building. We have now a really nice seven inch. I have to say I, I like the seven inch even more. It's very slim and fancy. Yeah. Talking about a kiosk. Exactly, right? And so we're yeah. doing a lot of different things based on kind of market demand for our product and feedback from our customers, which then we work with Arnet to develop the new thing. So it's very, very exciting. Um, and you know, we've started to grow internationally as well. To, to, to make my production plan right, how many how many I can? <laughs> yeah, so I think how we're predicting wanna, something oh. like uh, three to four thousand units uh, this year. That's awesome. That's a word. That's yeah. awesome. That's and there's awesome. millions of buildings in the world, so the potential is huge. That is exactly why we got into this building and uh, this business. Great. Thanks for your time. You're Service. welcome. Hey Niklas, we are now at the Lexus Terrace level where we have a hardware installation from Fatec. It's done by our partner MetroClick, and I think Best Aiden says something about it. Hello, how are you? Aiden, thank nice you for coming you. in today. This is uh, one of the only custom installation at MSG uh, in the Lexus Terrace Lounge. Uh, what we did here, we brought a combination of a touch um, solution to get the user interfacing with a video wall. Uh, it's good for kids, it's good for adults. Um, what basically the software does, it, it allows you to interact with the brand find locations uh, where you might be able to buy your next car. You can actually contact the dealers and fill up a form that goes to different dealerships. And uh, But the real experience is the Lexus Pursuit where you can play different videos throughout the game. Uh, this becomes a, a, a highlight machine from MSG and depending on the game that's being played. Uh, and then you can actually switch into different content, different videos from Lexus, provided by Lexus. Uh, this project was uh, uh, um, one of the uh, jewels of uh, the new uh, uh, design and the new renovation of MSG. Uh, they invested a lot of money here and uh, we were happy to uh, partic be participated on this project and uh, many more to come with Lexus. How, how long is it in stock now here? This is uh, uh, the third year uh, of, uh, uh, of operation and okay. it took us about three months to get this whole thing up and running. Great. You set it up in three months, but also all the design, right, with your team? The design, you can see it's a unique fabrication, it's all custom built, you can't find it, it's not a shelf product. Everything with the video wall, with the touch screen, uh, the entire setup on this side of uh, the Lexus Terrace and on the other side we have another setup of video wall. It's complete custom solutions uh, provided by uh, uh, Fatec uh, uh, screens and uh, hardware. Great, good, thanks. Yep. Let's have a look at the other installations. Here you see also a small yeah. monitor again. And I'm, I mean, this is really, this is it's my way. first time in the Madison Square Garden. Just some words to Aiden. Aiden has now f over 40 developers in Israel, Los Angeles, and here in New York. That's another installation. I have to say, quite cool, quite cool cars. I think this is breathtaking. It's pretty today cool. To the, to, the, to the game. And then we go here to, to end it. And that's the second installation. Uh, okay, the finish doesn't come from Fatec, I have to admit. So the panels and the hardware comes. They, they made a really, really awesome, awesome design. And yeah, really, uh, I have to say, I enjoy working with them together. Hopefully, there will be 2016 a lot of more business to come. Let's go. 
Hi, we are now at the heart of Metroclick. You have seen before um, Santos and Alex, they are the front end designers and my, I, let's say here is the cool stuff going on. Johnny, probably you say something about it. Uh, here we are, a web development shop shop. We do anything and everything for your needs. This is our front end team over here. We got Sean, we got Jake. Uh, Sean, turn around, around, say hi to the camera. Up, man? How's it hey. going? Hello. Up, over here we have Ernest and Janice. These are our back end developers. They handle all the madness behind the scenes. This is Ryan, he uh, does What's our going? marketing and advertising. Right. He's another back-end developer over here. Yeah. Hey. Konnichiwa. Hello, how are you? This is Simon, this is my main iOS guy, Mikey. Hi. Hi. Say hi. Is the stable software is working? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 our iOS code is spectacular. All our code is spectacular. Mikey's code is absolutely the best. Cool, and who's yeah. in the office over there? This is, uh, this is the big guy. This is Eitan. I did lose weight, so... He, uh, he runs the show here. Hello guys, how are you? My name is Eitan McGee, you can Google me, see what I do. Cool, right here is the screen. Uh, One of our uh, development screens where we test everything, the software, making sure it looks good. Acts good, runs well. So, uh, so what kind of collaboration do you have going on? Yeah, well, he babysits my kids sometimes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we, we know each other for about four years. Uh, Arna is our hardware uh, um, uh, partner. He does all the hardware and makes sure it fits to our software and vice versa. We make sure everything fits to his hardware and we have a long standing relationship and we're looking to expand the relationship all over the US and more. So you have all kinds of awesome uh, software solutions going on, some crazy ideas. True, we have two locations in the city for MetroClick. Uh, the downtown location does mostly the uh, front end design uh, part of things. We were right near Madison Square Garden. Where, where are we right now? Is it seven? We're right seven? around MSG uh, Fashion uh, uh, District and uh, like Times Square. Just Times right Square is right a couple of blocks from here. Um, like I said, the downtown office handles all the design and front end. We do all the backbones, uh, back end development and app development for MetroClick and uh, Fatech. So all kinds of customers here in New York, they just come here, they can discuss with you in real time the, the project and what they want and what you can do and everything. Sure, you can see there's a client right here sitting in my office, uh, hey. Mr. Uh, Daniel. I've been waiting. Uh, <laughs> an app development, uh, we do the app development for them, website development. Another client just walked in from NY Stone. You know, that's what we do. We like to interact with our clients and do uh, the process uh, with our client, get their feedback, make sure they're fully happy. And get things done really quickly. Really quick. Turnaround time is very important for our clients. And uh, how many uh, uh, developers do you have? We have uh, 12 ve developers here. We have another five uh, uh, in a block from here. And we have 10 in LA and 10 in Israel. And around the globe, we have about 45 developers, marketing, and management. And a lot of projects. And lots more going to happen in 2016. A lot is going to happen in 2016 with uh, okay. collaboration with Fatech. Uh, well, we're looking to expand and grow as, as much as we can. What do you think about some of their projects? I mean, Aiden is really the mastermind in uh, every software project behind, and um, he's the one who, who gets everything running and has a technical ideas here in, in uh, the US. So it makes really a, a lot of fun working with him and, and checking the things together out. 